Okay, today what we're going to do is we're going to do a clipping mask. And let's get started. Um, I've opened Pixlr and I want to select Pixlr E. And I'm going to create a new. And let's go with, um, oh, let's see what we have recommended. Let's just go Y 1080p. You can name it if you like. I'm just going to name it my name. Now we've got our layer here, we're ready to go. I wanna start with a font, so I'm gonna create a new layer and it's gonna be text. And I just want you to type in your name. There we go. And I need you to get a big, bold font here. So let's check and see what kind of fonts we have. Remember that if it has the little yellow crown there, that it's a paid font. So you can't really use those. Get something that is bold and, and thick and uses a lot of space. How about uh, Daddy Day looks good. I want to make it bigger. And let me make this canvas a little bit smaller. And I just use the keyboard command for that. There we go, nice and big. Okay, I also want to add some shapes to this. So let's create another layer and we will go with a shape layer. We've got a shape. I'm going to put this one right down here. I'm going to hold the shift down. And if I hold the shift down, I can change proportions of this. If I don't hold the shift down, then it's going to be proportional. Okay. Got a shape there. Okay. If I wanted to, I could put the shape up here too. And I just copied and pasted that. And look how I've got these green lines to help me line it up. What I want to do is I want to, I want to merge these layers. So I'm going to go to these little dots here and I'm going to merge it. So it's all merged together into one and, you know, it's locked, but I got to unlock it. I need another layer. I need an image layer and I'll tell you what, I've got the images on my web page, but you can use any images. Let me throw these over here. So I got them when I'm ready. I want to create a new image layer. And I want to select the layer How about recent. See if it's up there on recent. There we are, recent. I'm going to put this image in here. Whoops. Not sure what happened there. Let's take this image and make it bigger. And I'm going to make it proportional, make it bigger than the whole thing. Move this layer to the top. Okay, we've got that on the layer. What I want to do now is take the magic wand, or the wand selects is what they call it. And I want to select this. Now, I also want to select inside my letter here, inside my O. So if you have any letters that have trap space, hold the shift down and click in there, and that will select it. Now, what I want to do is I want to go back to my image layer, get my eraser, and it's right down here. I'm going to make it really big, really big, okay? And I'm just going to erase. Okay, I've erased everything. I'm pretty erased. Okay, I'm going to turn off this original layer with my text on here, and then look what I got here. I'm going to deselect this. I can deselect a couple ways. I can go up to select and hit deselect, or what I like to do is command D or control D, and I am um, deselected that. Okay, now I want to add another picture for a background. And I will go with recents. There we are. Make this nice and big to cover the whole thing. And remember, if you want to keep it proportional, you just have to grab the corner and do that. If you want to change the shape, then you're going to have to hold down the shift or you can change this to, to free instead of fixed. Okay, I'm going to bring this all the way up to the top and look what I've got. I've got this on here. Now, I this is kind of hard to see on this background. So I could do a couple things with this. I could try to add like a, a border to this. And I believe I can do that under filters. And let's say I've got inner glow, outer glow, outline. There we go. Let's get an outline on here. And I just put an outline. It's white. Let's make it black to see if that will look better. So I have an outline on it. Um, and also I can do some other things with the filters. You can see I've got lots of different possibilities here. If you want to try some 
of these, that's fine. You want to do a drop shadow. It kind of looks good against the brick wall. And remember, you can change where it is. Look, I'm changing the distance of that and how blurred it is. If you want it to be really blurred, there you go. You can blur it a little bit. You want to make it a little sharper. You can make it a little sharper. And then the opacity here. And you can just decide what you like. Okay. And I just hit apply. Now I just want to add one more component to that. And um, we're going to customize it to our class. So I'm going to go with another layer. And we will go with the text layer. And I'm going to call this Digital Arts 2022. At Digital Art 2022, I might want to come up with a good font. Something that is different than this that complements it. So you'll have to look through your fonts. Remember when you're choosing fonts that it's important that you choose the right font. And generally you don't know what the right font is until you see it and try it out. So I suggest trying it out. Okay, well, let's put this right here. That is a little bit different. i make that a little smaller. You could pull these in if you want to. If it's just too weird for you to have those really big. Okay, and I'm done. So that's it. That's what you're going to turn in. Make sure that when you save this, you save this as a JPEG. And you can just pump that all the way up and hit save as. If you want to edit this later, remember, you have to save it as a PXZ. This will uh, keep the layers and you can go back and edit this PXZ file. Um, so if you'd like to keep it to edit it, save it that way. Otherwise, turn it in as a JPEG. And then I'm just going to hit Save As. And you might want to name it in your name, probably your last name. And I'm just going to put it on, I think I'll just put it on my desktop for now. Hit Save. And then I would love to upload that to Google, um, Google Classroom. Okay, that's it for this project. I will see you next time.